one of the three high-speed trains planned by Russia will traverse through all three nations. The country's objective is to immediately recover the local economy and massively boost commerce with China. The project is estimated to cost more than $260 billion. This is a very intricate project that has sparked debate. When the railway is built, the situation in Russia will improve and maybe continue to improve. The reason Russia constructed the railway to China has a huge influence on the situation of the present world. Russia has been under pressure from numerous parties in the West and Europe during the last two years, and its economy had already been deteriorating. Before we proceed, please subscribe to this channel to learn about the world's most startling and rem remarkable initiatives. Let's go vegan. Historically, the major export market has been Russian natural gas. However, Europe ceased purchasing energy from Russia this year, and Russia's energy exports to Europe plummeted by roughly 50. At the same time, natural gas shipments from Russia to China, which has 1.4 billion people and the world's highest demand, surged by 63.4. China has the world's biggest market for any nation. They also have China Europe Railway Express, a Russian railway project. Dean John, the first railway from Russia, is the second reason to visit China. Russia's territory is barely 55 kilometers from the area of China in the Indusine. John, following the conclusion of cross-border commerce between Russia and China, it may be completed in 30 minutes. In addition to linking Mongolia and Kazakhstan, the Chinese railway also links Russia and China. Since it was initially proposed, Russia aims to utilize this route to export op and other raw resources to China. This concept has received a lot of attention, and many people in Europe favor it. However, the railway idea has drawn criticism and concerns from the United States. One of the causes is China's huge railway infrastructure. The China Europe Railway Express is the name given to the transnational train that travels through China. Previously, Western nations did not support this effort, but today, all countries want to collaborate with China. Because the China Europe Railway Express can move products in the least amount of time in 2022, the commercial cooperation between Europe and China will be strengthened, and China will be strengthened. More than 10,000 trains will transport us to almost 200 locations in 24 different European countries. Xinjiang is China's key beginning point. Europe has around 5,000 trains. Trains from China and Europe have already arrived and departed the nations this year. Trade between Xinji and European nations is lively and has increased by 40 in recent years. As a result, Russia plans to construct a railway to China. However, the building of this railway is very complex. Despite the fact that this railway is just 55 kilometers long, its construction is not straightforward. There are various mountains and jungles near the boundary. Two bridges and three tunnels need be constructed over 55 kilometers of tough terrain in protected zones, and constructing a railway in ecologically critical areas would take at least two years. Russia is attempting to construct a railway to China in order to aggressively develop commerce and reclaim market share, lost by Western nations. Furthermore, we have access to vast resources that lead to other nations through China. The completion of the railway construction will surely result in a major boost in Russian exports. Second, the Chinese city of Xinjiang is a famous tourist destination with a distinctive agricultural port. Agricultural items from Xing have lately joined the European market, increasing the overall value of trade exports by 44.5. When completed, the railway link in Russia and China will be the quickest route between the two nations. The second railway is engaged, a high-speed railway project spanning three nations. The project was both costly and difficult to accomplish. The railway spans 7,000 kilometers beginning in Beijing, China, and ending in Kazakhstan. The journey concludes in Moscow. Travel by rail from Russia to Beijing. It normally takes six days and five nights. Because the railway systems of the two nations are not similar, it took two hours to alter the tracks. After the excursion, everyone was fatigued. However, if a high-speed railway is completed, it will only take 30 hours to go from Beijing to Moscow by train. So why is Russia attempting to establish a high-speed rail line to China? Arrive in the United States, there isn't a single longest railway in the globe. Russia's Trans-Siberian Railway is still in service. It already need renovations or repairs. The high-speed train has finally arrived in Africa. Apart from aircraft, the quickest means of transportation is the high-speed train. It may encourage economic development and raise people's living conditions, as seen by its prevalence in China and Africa. In order to enhance ties between China and Russia, 
Russia has chosen to usher in a new age of high-speed trains. Russia is situated in a hilly region with a harsh local climate. It is exceedingly unstable and characterized by seasonal soil permafrost by seasonal soil permafrost. Despite having the essential building expertise, China confronts tough local geological and climatic circumstances as well as exceptionally large construction distances. You are aware of the project's intricacy. This massive endeavor, even if it takes more than five years to complete, will be worthwhile. The third railway is the Chinese-Russian railway bridge across the river, the Cross River Bridge, the first international river railway bridge between China and Russia. The project will be finished in April 2022. The railway is six kilometers long. It was created as a cooperative effort between Sino and Russia. The railway links cabs, the biggest city in the far east west of Europe and stretches from Halal, China to Siberia. The railway has a freight capacity of 21 million tons per year. Trade between Russia and the Northeast China has increased by 45 since the railway opened, and the logistical flow has shifted from the west to China and then to the east. In the framework of the project, the two nations seek to utilize the railway to establish a new overland grain corridor, organize grain storage, and transshipment. The trans bicycle Grain Terminal is anticipated to open with an annual capacity of 8 million tons. Russia's economic level will rise as a result of commerce with China and the Middle Kingdom. We will also employ goods transportation to advertise many of our own products tens of millions of people in both nations currently reside in, significantly raising their level of life. This kind of collaboration is referred to as a win-win situation. So what changes may be anticipated in China and Russia as a consequence of the railway's construction? Cooperation between China and Russia has historically been oriented toward mutual benefit and win outcomes. China emphasizes on strong cooperation among many nations in order to develop a society with a shared destiny for mankind. Russia is now dealing with a lot of domestic issues and commercial exports have decreased. Russia's only hope is China. Long-term stable ties between China and Russia will benefit both peoples, whether it be access to the Chinese market or Russian resources. Countries are capable of growth. Since 2020, one, China has launched 15,000 China-Europe trains, half of which have arrived in Europe through Kazakhstan, increasing the need for railway operation and maintenance. As a consequence, the Russian railway Kino may be able to assist Kazakhstan in alleviating this burden. Following the construction of the railway connecting China and Russia, the Sino-European railway may be used to transfer Russian resources to Europe while the other half of the trains can be employed on other lines, relieving Europeans of their burden. According to our understanding, seven nations headed by the United States have collectively blocked a central bank of Russia's present foreign currency holdings. In addition, a method for a rapid resolution was recommended for Russia. Western nations headed by the United States are planning to hinder Russian funding, technology, and commerce. As a result, Russia's railroads are in greater need of upgrading. All three of these cross-border railway projects need tacit collaboration from both sides. They must be finished, since they are in severe circumstances and on difficult terrain. Despite the fact that the idea has long sparked debate in Europe and the United States, many nations do not hold out much hope for it. Russia will not halt rail building. The first railway and the remaining two lines were finished. This may take many years, if not longer, but when it does, big changes will occur in the nation which is a wonderful development. Leave your thoughts in the comments section. Also, watch this video to learn about another frightening initiative.